So this is an example of Newton's third law, where every action causes an equal and opposite reaction. So if we have a cannon, and it is firing a cannonball, the cannon is going to push the cannonball out, that's understood. But the cannonball is also going to push back on the cannon, it's called the recoil. So what we're going to do is try to figure out how fast is the cannon going to be accelerated backwards by this recoil. So what we have is our cannon has a mass of 100 kilograms, and the cannonball, as it says, has a mass of 3 kilograms. And according to this, the cannonball is accelerated at 40 meters per second squared. So what we want to do is find out what force is being exerted on the cannonball to make this happen. So we know, once again, that F equals m times a, Newton's second law. So we have 3 kilograms times 40 meters per second squared. So there is a force of 120 newtons on this cannonball. So I'm just going to draw that in. This cannonball is experiencing a force of 120 newtons. Now, according to Newton's third law, for every action, this force, there's an opposite and equal force uh, now on the cannon. So if the cannonball is being pushed with 120 newtons, the cannon itself is also feeling a force of 120 newtons. So that is the force of the cannon. And we also know the mass on the cannon. So from that, we can find the acceleration on it. Because once again, we know that F equals m times a. This is for the cannon now. And so if I'm solving for a, I know then that a will equal the force divided by the mass. In other words, it'll equal 120 newtons divided by 100 kilograms or 1.2 meters per second squared. So what this means is that they're both feeling the same force, but the cannonball being much lighter is accelerated at a much greater rate, whereas the cannon itself, which has a much greater mass, is accelerated much less. So they're both feeling the same force, but they're feeling different accelerations. And if they're doing their job, this cannon would be secured as well, so that it wouldn't be able to accelerate backwards. But we're kind of ignoring that possibility now, which is looking at if there were no other forces on this cannon, what would be its acceleration backwards? And that is the answer, 1.2 meters per second squared.